Buenos días. Good morning. ¿Podría usted presentarse a sí mismo? Can you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Ole Johansson. I work at the Department of Neuroscience at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. El neurocientífico Ole Johansson lleva más de 30 años investigando los efectos de los campos electromagnéticos. Es médico, profesor e investigador y trabaja en el Departamento de Neurociencias del Instituto Karolinska de Estocolmo, uno de los centros de investigación y enseñanza médica más avanzados del mundo. Es coautor del informe Bioinitiativ 2007 y uno de los expertos internacionales que participó en la declaración de Seletun en el 2009. Ha publicado más de 500 artículos científicos originales, revisiones e informes en el ámbito de la neurociencia. El doctor Johansson ha visitado por primera vez España a finales de 2013 para asistir a una jornada sobre medio ambiente y salud en Barcelona, donde no se ha cansado de repetir que es urgente y necesario aplicar el principio de precaución y retirar por lo menos los wifi de los lugares públicos y de las escuelas, tal como ya ha recomendado la Comisión Europea. Las evidencias científicas sobre los riesgos para la salud que implican los campos electromagnéticos artificiales, telecomunicaciones y tecnologías de energía eléctrica son desbordantes. Mientras tanto, la industria, los gobiernos y los medios de comunicación siguen ignorando descaradamente el asunto. Continúan haciendo más caso a los estudios que niegan los efectos perniciosos. El doctor Johansson, sin embargo, denuncia que la mayoría de estos estudios están pagados por la industria. Así que mientras en los medios de comunicación mayoritarios siguen apareciendo expertos que defienden la inocuidad de los móviles o de las redes wifi, algunos científicos como el doctor Johansson viven amenazados de muerte. ¿Qué hace exactamente un neurocientífico? ¿Qué estudia? What do you do exactly? Uh, what does a neuroscientist do? Uh, we study the brain, the spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system and try to understand how these various cells communicate with each other as well as with the body. Cuando yo era pequeña en la escuela, when she was small at the school, nos explicaban que solamente conocemos el 5% de cómo funciona el cerebro. ¿Es cierto que conocemos uh, tan poco del cerebro de cómo funciona? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, the brain is sort of the central command central that uh, will collect all the information from the environment and uh, make you move towards or away from things, events. Uh, it could be anything, you know, and it will guide you through your life. And it also, of course, contains the higher brain functions, such as memory, uh, intelligence, etc. Pero la pregunta es más profunda. The, the question is more, uh, goes more in the depth. Yeah. Realmente sabemos todo lo que hace el cerebro o hay una parte que todavía desconocemos cómo funciona? Oh, that's also a very intelligent question. Um, some neuroscientists, they want to believe that we actually understand the entire central and peripheral nervous system and what it does, but the most say that we don't understand all the details and um, as you probably know one of the largest scientific projects ever launched was launched this year by the European Union and a corresponding project in the United States and it's called the Human Brain Project. Yes, okay. And what is this? Um, one has given in the order of one billion euros to understand the human brain and to construct a model in computers, a computerized model to mimic the brain and in that way be able to further uh, investigate, understand and build communication interfaces with gadgets such as prostheses. In the future you will have like your arm prosthesis that you can really manipulate and move and understand in quite another way. That's the dream. To be able to then uh, understand and uh, project knowledge into using, for instance, prostheses. Uh, when your arm is cut in a car accident, you get the prosthesis, and in the future you will have sort of an ideal uh, biological prosthesis that you can run through your brain interface. That's the dream. O sea, que es cierto que realmente no sabemos exactamente cómo funciona al 100%. So is it true that we don't know really how it works, the brain, 100%? That is definitely true, and uh, there are many, many molecular and cellular details that needs to be investigated further. 
me llama la atención de su currículum, que aparte de neurocientífico, también es el director de la unidad de dermatología. Uh, not dermatolo but experimental dermatology. And of course, the skin is the interface between each human being and the rest of the universe. And therefore, the brain needs to monitor this interface very detailed and very clearly. The cerebro necesita monitorizar este, esta unión muy claramente y muy definitivamente. Because, as you know, apart from the eyes, um, the skin is the only way for the brain to really see the outer world and to feel changes in temperature, uh, touch, vibration, uh, itch, pain, etc. And in that way, the brain knows where to go and where not to go. Like, like if you would go to Sweden, you would get very cold and the brain would tell you, please put on a jacket, a sweater, more sweaters, more sweaters, more jackets, you know, because it's very cold. And if you go back here, the brain would tell you the opposite. Now you can get rid of some of these clothing because it's warmer here. Usted hizo la tesis en 1983, creo. You did the test in 1983. Que se llamaba Neuropéptidos en el Sistema Nervioso Central y Periférico. Yes, that's my PhD thesis, actually, yes. Sí, ese fue su doctorado, sí. Ok. Um, ¿Nos puede explicar brevemente Can you explain briefly qué son los neuropéptidos? ¿Cuál es su función? What are the yeah. uh, nerve cells communicate with chemical signals and uh, then it was discovered that some of them are so-called neuropeptides que algunos, uh, se llaman neuropeptidos, which are short chains of amino acids que son cortos cambios de aminoácidos And before this discovery, uh, one knew that there could be like norepinephrine, serotonin, and acetylcholine as signal substances. But suddenly, we got all these neuropeptides as well. Uh -huh. ¿Está esto relacionado con el tema de las radiaciones electromagnéticas que nos ocupa hoy? Is this related with the electromagnetic fields that we are talking in today? Yes. Uh, sí. It turned out that some of these cells containing neuropeptides are affected. Pasa que algunas de las células que contienen neuropeptidos son afectadas por esta radiación. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo entra usted en contacto por primera vez con el tema de las radiaciones y sus, y sus efectos? Yeah, it was... Uh, Just by accident, I was listening to radio one evening and I heard a program where a lady was asking for expertise in the field of neurobiology. Yeah. Neurobiology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, then I called her and Animal. said that we may be able to help her because she was describing persons that had got skin problems in front of computer screens. Mm -hmm. Y estudió usted este tema. And you studied this uh, subject? Yes, we did. Sí, And um, we very soon found ourselves in several different projects mm -hmm. aiming to understand these skin problems. ¿Y qué descubrió usted exactamente? ¿Cuál What es, qué you, problema descubrió? What did you discover exactly? Oh, What problem? yeah, very early we discovered a huge number of different changes in this person's skin. And among them was changes in their immune system. Uh, entre ellos había cambios en su sistema inmunitario. And also the protective layer against various forms of radiation was altered. Sus estudios epidemiolo epidemiológicos han demostrado que las redes inalámbricas uh, perjudican la salud. Uh, you don't use epidemiology for that. You need no. direct uh, laboratory studies, and the answer is yes. Okay. He utilizado esta palabra. She used this word. Porque supuestamente los epidemiólogos son los médicos encargados de, de controlar los factores relacionados con la salud. Y me pregunto dónde, dónde están los epidemiólogos She's... si están estudiando esta problemática. 
Uh, we have studied uh, these questions also using epidemiology as well as ecological studies, yes. But you have to remember that epidemiology can only tell you the answer when it's too late. Solo pueden responder cuando ya es demasiado tarde. So therefore you must have prospective laboratory studies. O sea, los epidemiólogos aparecen al final. So epidemiologists appear at the end? Yes. Sí. Yeah. Suele decirse cuando se habla de la contaminación electromagnética en muchos ámbitos, por lo menos aquí en España, in many areas, at least here in Spain, que las personas que hablan de esto son pseudocientíficos that people that talk about this are pseudo o inexpertos or not experts. porque en realidad no existen estudios serios. ¿Qué piensa usted al respecto? Such pseudoscientists would never be employed at the kind of universities that produce these data. So I just don't understand that, you know. You know, that would be a little bit like saying that the American NIH and the Swedish Kalinske Institute would be employing pseudoscientists. That's a very grave accusation and I wouldn't dare to do that. Pero sigue, se sigue diciendo que no hay estudios que demuestren que la contaminación electromagnética afecta a la salud. Se sigue, aquí se sigue diciendo, por lo menos en España. But um, again, I just cannot understand that okay. argument no because we are talking about okay. thousands and thousands of papers in so-called peer review based scientific journals. And having that argument would mean that the editors and the peer reviewers, the referees, All are pseudoscientists. Uh, are these people really serious in these accusations? You know, I It's agree uh, that, for instance, on the internet, you would find um, proposals and results and reports and so on that are non scientific, but they are never used for risk analysis. So yeah. that's not a problem. Pero nunca se, us se usan para hacer análisis. O sea que eso no es el problema. Hablemos entonces de, de, de los estudios, de algunos de los estudios que, que se han hecho. Let's talk about the studies that mm, have been done. Mm -hmm. uh, podemos empezar por el estudio Reflex. We can start for the Reflex study. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Puede explicarnos algo al respecto? ¿Qué se descubrió con ese estudio? ¿Qué se publicó? It's a very big study, es un gran estudio, uh, un gran aiming to replicate results seen at the DNA level. And uh, they were able then to show that our genome, our DNA molecules are harmed by microwave radiation. O sea, me está diciendo que el ADN uh, se desfragmenta a causa de la radiación. You are saying that DNA is is defragmented yes. because of the radiation. Yes. yes. Demostrado científicamente? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Esto es muy serio. This is very serious. Oh, that's extremely serious because if these gadgets were, for instance, a food item or a potential pharmaceutical drug, then such a genotoxic effect would immediately stop them to be launched to the public. And uh, also in other studies, It has studio. been shown that there is a risk for cancer, including, for instance, childhood leukemia and brain cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, the World Health Organization has cancer classified both power frequent magnetic fields and microwaves. And um, no, nice. the power frequent magnetic fields That's another name for household electricity. And the microwaves are contained within the so-called radio frequency field, where you will find a lot of different uh, systems, such as radio, TV, mobile phones, and so on. And they are all included. And one has to remember that the World Health Organization has uh, a clause for proven safe Um, exposures, but they didn't put radio frequent fields there or power frequent fields. 
and the fields when we talk about um, childhood leukemia and our frequent magnetic fields if that should be redone today scientists claim that then they would lift this one step further up even more serious cancer claims ayer, ayer estuvo usted en unas jornadas yes. yesterday you were uh, on some lectures dando una charla uh, giving a speech y dijo usted referente refiriéndose al estudio reflex que las empresas de, te de telecomunicaciones habían intentado evitar que se publicara. Yes. Yes. ¿Puede explicar un poquito sí. esto? Can you explain this a little? Uh, when the results were uh, published, uh, or they were beginning to try to publish them, and uh, then the telecom industry tried to stop the publication. Pero no lo consiguieron. But they didn't get it. No, they no, so it's out in the public domain, yes. No, the domin es del dominio público. Pero sigue presionando. But they still mm, put pressure. Um, o sacando unos propios estudios hechos por ellos. O uh, putting out their, their own uh, studies. Uh, the telecom industry doesn't do very much studies on their own, but no. they finance a no number hacen, of scientists, yes. No hacen muchos estudios propios, pero sí que financian a uh, científicos. Uh -huh. uh, después uh, hubo la resolución de Benevento, creo. Then there was the resolution of Benevento resolution. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sí. Usted contaba ayer que los científicos no tienen la costumbre de reunirse habitualmente. You yesterday said that scientists usually don't, don't meet. Uh, well, they meet, but they never sí, publish that kind of resolutions. Pero nunca publican esta clase de resoluciones. Mm -hmm. That's very uncommon. Y en esta, y en esta ocasión unreal. decidieron que era suficientemente importante como para publicar una, una resolución. Uh, exactly, and uh, there were similar resolutions earlier on the internet. Antes habían habido But they were not formally published, and therefore they were just swept aside always. Uh, and we decided we have to publish it in a peer review based scientific journal. Okay. Yeah, and personally, I demanded that we should do that because as scientists, we also have a responsibility to society. And I said, we cannot hide resolutions on the internet. We must get them out in the controlled public scientific media. Creo que uno de las de, la, de lo, lo más importante que, que, que surgió de la resolución de Benevento fue que se, se dijo que era muy importante proteger a los niños. I think so too, actually. Realmente cree que es verdad. De hecho, cree que es verdad. Yeah, and we pointed very clearly to that children has to be protected. Y uh, señalaron muy claramente que los niños tienen que ser protegidos. And also that telecom companies should not be allowed to market towards children. Uh, en 2007 aparece el estudio Bioinitiative yes. con una revisión de más de 2000 estudios científicos. ¿Participó usted en él de alguna manera? Did you participate in this? Yes, in I did. Because see? it sort of um, took its basis from several sources. Yeah, and the Benevento resolution being one of them. La, la resolución de Benevento era una de ellas. Because there we said that someone has to put together the science into a big report. And you know, when you tell the world something, you often have to do it yourself. And therefore, we were about 15 scientists who wrote the Bionistry report. Mm -hmm. And it has also been updated the year 2012. And now it's about 4,000 scientific papers. Sería posible resumir el contenido del Bio Initiative en un minuto? Oh, yes, 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 yes. In one minute? Yes, in one minute. Yes? Oh. Sí. If you are a molecule, a cell, Si eres una molécula, una célula, a plant, a una planta, mouse or a rat, una rata, un ratón, you should definitely stay away from these radiation sources. And also, as human beings, we 
seres humanos. Urgently need new exposure guidelines for the public and they should be based on biology instead of technology. Y tendría que estar basada en la biología y no en la tecnología. And also based upon safety instead of profit. Y también basada en la seguridad y no en el aprovechamiento. Lo tenemos mal. So we don't have uh, good expectations. Um, I hope we have good expectations because Espera this is sí. also a Estamos signal bien. to uh, companies to produce tomorrow's human-friendly technology. For instance, today it's impossible to sell a computer screen saying that it's a high radiation. Everyone wants to have a low and safe radiation type screen. Seguimos uh, con la declaración de Seletun. We go on with the Seletun declaration. En 2009 participó usted en una comisión de científicos que se reunió en la ciudad de Seletun, en Noruega. Yes. Sobre las evidencias científicas existentes sobre la exposición a los campos electromagnéticos, telecomunicaciones y tecnologías de energía eléctrica. Se hicieron 10 uh, recomendaciones, pienso. Uh, they did 10 recommendations, she does. Para la salud pública. For the public health. Y creo que se pueden resumir en que la población mundial está en riesgo. Yes. And sí. you have to remember that the Seletun uh, statement came from the fact that the Bioinitiative report is very big. So we needed a short type version. And instead of 600 pages, it's down to 10 pages. Así que necesitaban una versión más corta y en vez de tener 600 páginas, tiene 10 páginas. O sea que es un resumen. In a way, yes. And also an sí, expansion of earlier knowledge. Uh, because between the years 2007 and 2009, Porque entre los años hundreds 2007, and hundreds 2009. and hundreds of papers had been published. So we needed to add that. Y una vez tenemos... Estas recomendaciones. When we have these recommendations, ¿A quién se las entregan ustedes? ¿A los gobiernos? ¿A los políticos? ¿A los laboratorios? ¿A los científicos? ¿A, los, a las empresas? ¿A quién? Companies. Okay. It's a public paper, so es, anyone could read it. Es un documento público, cualquiera But puede leerlo. But we have sent it to governments and parliaments, Pero health los, authorities. Lo enviaron a gobiernos, parlamentos. Um, autoridades de salud. And a lot of reporters and journalists have asked for copies. Y muchos periodistas y reporteros han pedido copias. And also it has been discussed a lot in the public media. Y se ha discutido mucho en los medios de comunicación públicos. But the most common person who wants to read it is actually a parent. Y usted cree que... Do you believe that... Mm. Sea, uh, realmente se ha aprovechado really, este conocimiento. Indeed they can and I hope they will. Pueden y espera que lo hagan. Los gobiernos lo han tenido en cuenta? Rarely, very rarely. Uh, and um, it doesn't seem to change very much. I'm not so optimistic. No es muy optimista. ¿No serían los responsables? One. Um, in a democracy, everyone is responsible. En una democracia, todo el mundo es responsable. But you know that we elect officials and we elegida. give them a huge salary y les damos un enorme, uh, sueldo. because we want them to take responsibility for all of us. Porque queremos que sean responsables de todos nosotros. But they don't always do that. Pero no siempre lo hacen. So, Maybe it boils down to that people must do a lot themselves, and they can, of course. They could listen and watch this TV program, yeah, and then they could write to their elected officials. Y pueden escribir a las personas que han elegido. Para and they que could write pueden. debate articles in newspapers. Pueden escribir artículos para debatir en los periódicos. And demand a change. Y pedir, exigir un cambio. Pero ¿de qué sirve hacer todo esto? 
but what is it used for this? Si todos tenemos un móvil, por ejemplo. We all have a mobile phone. Yes, you have, but I think what it is used for is to develop tomorrow's human-friendly technology. ¿Usted cree que los móviles uh, pueden acabar siendo biológicamente compatibles, en realidad? I don't think so, but you know, I'm not an expert in inventions and technique, but I doubt that. I think you need a wired and shielded system. And um, very few persons need actually to be mobile. Muy pocas personas necesitan tener móviles. Here in Barcelona, when I look at people using mobile phones, most Barcelona. often they sit down. <laughs> ¿Le puedo preguntar si tiene usted móvil? Have you got a mobile phone? I've never had that, and it has nothing to do with this, uh, because when they were introduced in Sweden, Porque cuando se introdujeron en Suecia, and that was in the 1980s, early 1980s, they were very big and heavy, and I cannot carry such things around, and they were very expensive, yeah, muy caros. and I'm not a rich man, y no es rico. and they were only for important people eran and I'm para, completely unimportant eran now solo, and then. Eran solo para gente uh, muy importante y él es una persona que no es importante entonces y ahora. So that means at my workplace I am the only person who eats my lunch undisturbed. But maybe I also profit from the fact that I'm not subjected to the close fields from the mobile phone, so health-wise, maybe I profit. Hablemos ahora de las uh, enfermedades relacionadas. Let's talk about illnesses uh, related to the... Usted habla, no habla de enfermedades, sino de discapacidades funcionales. ¿Puedo yeah. explicar un poquito? Can you well, explain this? if we talk about electromagnetic fields, Damos there are associations to illnesses such as cancer, but then there is also something called electrohypersensitivity, and that is in Sweden viewed as a disability or function impairment, not a disease. Incluso reconocida por la ley. Even the law recognizes this. Oh yes, yeah, and sí. it has nothing to do with the Swedish law at all because this is described in the United Nations Convention, and in the United Nations regulations. They stress the fact that a functional impairment doesn't need a recognition from anyone. And for instance, here and now, Aquí y ahora. Uh, we have a situation where I am functionally impaired because I don't know Spanish. Ahora él mismo tiene una discapacidad funcional porque no, no habla español. And therefore I need a personal assistant. Por eso necesita un, asisten un asistente personal. But I don't need to ask anyone if I'm allowed not to know Spanish. Sí. I decide that. And therefore, uh, the definition of disabilities or functional impairments says it's always personal and private. You do not decide and you do not decide if I am impaired or not. I decide that. And... Um, in the United Nations, various texts about this, uh, they stress this fact very clearly that uh, a functional impairment is developed from myself in contact with the environment. So if the environment is inferior uh, and I react to it, it's the environment that should be treated, not me. And the interesting part is that these documents, with, which are very thick, big yeah. books, they have been signed by Spain. Han sido firmados también por España. Qué interesante. Very interesting. Of course, you <laughs> are part <laughs> of the United Nations. So, and parte de las Naciones Unidas. all these countries have signed this, meaning that a person with electrohypersensitivity is functionally impaired in Sweden, but also in Spain. And all these documents, they go back to what happened before and after the Second World War in Germany. As you know, 
the Nazi members, they killed people with handicaps in Germany in the 1930s and 40s. And therefore, uh, after the war, the world said never again. And then these documents were formed. El mundo dijo nunca más, y por eso se hicieron estos textos, los textos de las Naciones Unidas. As you know, as a healthy individual with no disease, no disability, you have a legal umbrella to protect you. Tienes un, un refugio legal para protegerte. If you get a disease, the umbrella gets bigger. El refugio es como un paraguas. Si uh, tienes una enfermedad, esta protección debe ser más grande. And protección legal. If you get a disability or functional impairment, it's the biggest umbrella in Spain, in Sweden, and everywhere. Entonces deberían convertir a Europa en una gran zona blanca. Yes. That, sí. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, you have read the United Nations documents because that's exactly what they say is the most important principle. No. But you know it still, <laughs> because the UN says that complete accessibility is the most important. And the interesting part with that is that if we make, as you say, Europe or the whole world to a white zone, then maybe we will not see long-term effects from electromagnetic fields in the future, such as cancer. Smart. El, yeah. Brillante. Yeah. Uh, hablemos de cáncer y de estrés y asma relacionados con Let's esto. Let's talk about cáncer, asma, stress. Can you talk about a little about this? Um, there are scientific papers showing associations with some of these now rapidly increasing diseases. Y enfermedades, por ejemplo... Las multisistémicas uh, crónicas, como la sensibilidad química múltiple, el síndrome de fatiga crónica o la, o la fibromialgia, ¿están relacionadas con este tema? Are they um, associated to this subject? It doesn't seem to be so clear, no. No parece uh, claro. There are indications, but so, not so very clear. El tema que hemos comentado antes del ADN, del código genético. The genetic code. Esto es un... ¿Es un riesgo para la salud de las personas? ¿Qué significa exactamente? Is this a risk for the health of people? Uh, what, is it, what does it exactly mean? That's a very clever question. Es una, pues, una pregunta inteligente. Uh, because the DNA fragmentation... Porque la fragmentación del, de, del ADN... ...could lead to destruction of the immune defense. Yeah, and that also includes the defense against cancer. But probably the most uh, dangerous part is that our uh, sperm cells and egg cells can be severely harmed. And uh, there are quite a number of publications showing that, for instance, male sperm cells should not be close to these gadgets. And other scientists in completely other fields They have seen that the sperm quality in Europe is going dramatically down. Truth, so maybe there is an association between these two. Creo que aparte de, de este tema de las enfermedades, hay otros peligros aparentes. Hay otro peligro, como por apparently. ejemplo la desaparición de las no. abejas. Mm. Yeah, o las yeah. plantas. ¿Nos puede yeah. hablar un poquito de todo esto? Lo que yeah. se conoce, lo que se sabe. Can you talk about this a little? Uh, there are again a number of studies showing that, for instance, honeybees, uh, different other insects, uh, different plants and so on, they do not like this radiation at all. And we have asked uh, for resources to be able to replicate these kind of results, yep. but we have only got a no. O sea, no hay seguridad al 100% que esté relacionado. Uh, there is a association, yes. And for a scientist, we want sí, to hay. ascertain that this association is true mm -hmm. and Pero, how it looks like. But at the same time, the whole world is irradiated. So if there is a risk, it's uh, just going on all the time. 
da miedo, ¿no? So it's the scary. Yeah, in a way, but sí, it, it also points to that señala. the current human behavior based upon profit, uh, that Sacar. will Ventaja. eventually sometime in the future uh, become an enormous threat. So even if we don't sort of kill nature by radiation, we will definitely do it with some other profit-driven gadget in the future. And it's very peculiar to see that the world's insurance companies, they do not insure from health effects of electromagnetic fields. And that goes also, you know, with effects of GMOs, gene modified organisms, and with nanotechnology and so on. And when I talk with people from the insurance companies, Cuando he hablado con las personas que trabajan en las compañías de seguros, and I ask them, do you believe there is a risk with electromagnetic fields from mobile phones, for les, instance? Les ha preguntado, por ejemplo, si hay un riesgo con los campos electromagnéticos que producen los teléfonos móviles. Uh, then they say, we know there is a risk dicen, and we riesgo. will not pay for the effect. Y no pagaremos por los efectos que esto produce. And they are completely open with this. Y son muy abiertos respecto yeah. a esto. And uh, I mean, their business model is to take on small risks, but not big risks. Su modelo comercial es mm, tomar pequeños riesgos, pero no grandes riesgos. So in that sense, they have their own precautionary principle. So en ese sentido tienen su principio de precaución. And they protect their own stockholders and their own money, of course. Y, uh, protegen a sus propios accionistas y a su propio dinero. And supuesto. at the meeting in London, 2004, en el, la reunión que hubo en Londres en 2004, they said that they wanted to have the profit, but they wanted to give the cost to society. Es curioso que toda esta gente se preocupe tanto por su dinero, pero no por su salud. Um, Oh, that's a very good point. Es I often punto. think about that because veces they, as well as people in government and parliament and health authorities, Ellos have children of their own. Yo a veces pienso que tienen un refugio en la luna. Uh, <laughs> For example. <laughs> because if not, porque si no, I, I mean, understand. I cannot understand. I mean, I'm a Yo neuroscientist. No Soy un I'm an expert on the brain. Soy un and still, I cannot understand y aún no lo puedo these entender. kinds of risks they take. Los, estos um, que cogen. But, you know, from an evolutionary point of view, Pero desde un punto de vista de la evolución, um, the human beings, we are the only uh, species that have an active death wish. ¿Cómo? Uh, you never see, for instance, um, giraffes with machine guns. ¿Tú? You only see human beings ¿Tú? making war, you know. Nunca podrás ver a una jirafa con armas uh, mortales. En cambio, sí a un ser humano. And very often it seems that people are blinded by money. And that's what I mean. Somewhere in the future, some invention, some company, some profit will kill mankind. And of course, the odd thing with that is y por supuesto, la that cosa de todo esto es... all flowers, trees, and all other animals will applaud that. They will be happy then. Y... But unfortunately, when you look in the scientific literature, no. as you said before, we will most likely destroy a lot with electromagnetic fields, GMOs, and so on, you know. Pero usted que conoce el cerebro humano, um, ¿no se podría hacer algo para evitar esto? A nivel, a nivel del cerebro. I think what you are doing now is very important. Lo que estás haciendo ahora es muy importante. Uh, you allow people to get informed. Permites a la gente que esté informada. They should not trust me no tendrían que confiar en él. Uh, but they should read and think for themselves and make up their mind if they want to have this or not. And hopefully I am wrong. Y it will turn out that there isn't any risk. Esperar, 
no, no tiene razón y que eh, pase que no hay ningún riesgo. And then we can be happy. But if the opposite is true and you and I didn't say anything, Pero then sí. we would not be so proud of ourselves. Es una buena respuesta. This is a very good answer. Mm -hmm. Hablemos un poquito de las uh, de las investigaciones, de sus investigaciones. Let's talk about your researches. ¿Quién ha financiado sus investigaciones acerca de todo esto? Who has fund your investigations? La universidad, el gobierno, University, usted mismo. Government, yes. Yourself. No. Um, no. In Sweden, we have governmental funding agencies as well as private foundations, and you apply. Privadas. Private. Yes, uh, private organizations sí. that collect money and give it to research. And you have to send an application and they have a lot of experts that will read it and then decide if you get money or not. Was it easy to find this money? No, no. Uh, it wasn't, but there is one foundation in Sweden that has done a fantastic job and it's called the Cancer and Allergy Foundation. But it's very difficult to get funding for this. Pero es muy difícil encontrar financiación para esto. ¿En algún momento ha recibido usted presiones uh, para no divulgar sus descubrimientos? Yes, quite sí. often. Muy a menudo. Yeah. Por ejemplo, ¿nos puede explicar? For example, um, can you tell us? You have the whole range from people calling you. Hay una gran variedad, desde gente que te llamaba. And saying that you shouldn't uh, say this and that and see and so. Que te llamaba por teléfono y decía, no, tendrías que decir esto o aquello. Uh, and then to public slander, that people say that he's just crazy and he's just talking rubbish. Yeah, and then the whole range to death threats. Amenazas de muerte. Death threats. Yes. Sí. ¿Han llegado a atacarle alguna vez físicamente? Has anybody attacked you physically? Uh, not really. No, uh, no they haven't. But no. that's also the scary part. Pero esa es la parte que da miedo. And if you get such a death threat, si alguna vez te your de muerte, life changes. Tu vida cambia. O sea, vive usted con miedo. So therefore, you live uh, scared. Um, Maybe not scared, no but miedo, you change sabe. your practical way of life. Pero cambias tu vida práctica. Um, if I walk on a train platform, I never walk on the edge, la forma de la, en la but in the middle. Ar, de la vida And I will never go out in the late evening. Uh -huh. o sea que toma sus precauciones. So you are uh, taking your precautions. Yes. Sí. Uh, the first time I got the death threat, I went to the police, of course, and yeah. then I got a list of um, recommendations, and I followed that list. Entonces le dieron una lista de recomendaciones y él la siguió. ¿Y tiene usted idea de quién hay detrás de estas amenazas? Who is behind these threats? No. No. Nunca le han visitado personalmente. No, but uh, I very often get anonymous letters, and some of them are delivered at the door. Y algunas se las dejan en la puerta. Increíble. Incredible. But you know, historically, this is a classical way. Uh, I have met scientists in other fields, like asbestosis, and they have gone through exactly the same steps, sort of, you know. And if you have seen, for instance, the movie uh, with Julia Roberts, Erin Brockovich, mm -hmm. sí, she has a lot of Erin such experiences. Tuvo muchas de estas experiencias también. Pero eso era una película. This was just a movie. Esto es la realidad. Uh, it was a reality also for Fue Erin Brockovich. You know? para Erin Brockovich. Yeah, Existió yeah, yeah. realmente Erin Brockovich. ¿Tiene algún conocido también, por ejemplo, científico que se haya visto afectado de alguna manera por, por expresar su opinión, como hace usted? Like yes, you? yes. Unfortunately, sí. nowadays this is quite common, es, especially with the internet. Desgraciadamente, hoy en día esto es muy común. Es, uh, many persons believe that they have the right to 
write very slanderous uh, texts about each other. So instead of discussing the science, they talk badly about you and me and so on, you know, which is not uh, democracy should work, you know. No es así como debería funcionar la democracia. Estoy de acuerdo. She agrees. Um, mm. Creo que en el 2011, I think that in 2011 uh, se le notificó que iban a cerrarle su laboratorio en el instituto. And so it was. Y lo fue. Qué curioso, lo yeah. cerraron. Yeah. What closed. Yes. Yes. Sí, yes. está cerrado. Yeah. Uh -huh. O sea que no sigue trabajando en el instituto. Oh yes, I'm still there, but sí, the laboratories were closed. Pero los laboratorios yeah. están cerrados. And the reason was very simple. La razón We es muy didn't simple. have money. No teníamos dinero. Uh -huh. If you don't have money, sí. you must leave this. Si no tienes dinero, tienes que dejar esto. O sea que tuvo que dejar estas investigaciones. We do it as good as we can. Lo uh, hacemos también como sabemos, but, como podemos. You know, in collaboration with other laboratories en colaboración con otros laboratorios or at people's homes. o en las casas de la gente. But that's not the way professional science should be done. Claro, tiene usted ahora mismo uh, hay científicos uh, como usted en, en todas partes del mundo que, que, que o piensen igual que usted en este sentido. Yes, a lot. Yeah. Sí, a lot. Mucho. Yes, yes. So and that's in a sense, a positive problem because every day I get new publications. Mm -hmm. And a very interesting thing has happened this year, 2013. Algo muy interesante ha pasado en este año, en 2013. Because, you know, there are other areas of research which has nothing to do with this. And one such area una de estas deals áreas, with áreas. how to repair DNA molecules and to study such a thing they must first damage DNA y para hacer esto, que dañar el ADN. and then they generally pour some chemical onto it y luego algo de esto, de but ADN. it's a very harsh way to do it clumsy way so they have looked for years for a non-invasive surgical knife. A knife, you talk about Yeah, that. a knife, sort of, mm -hmm. that they could use to damage the DNA. Que podían utilizar para dañar el ADN. And this year, they have found and published such a knife. And this knife gives very severe damages. And the knife they have used are mobile phones. So that's a sensation. Uh, when these papers were published, we all reacted because we realized that they don't understand the implications of this, but they are telling the world uh, that mobile phones will damage the DNA. Lo que están diciendo al mundo es que los teléfonos móviles dañan el ADN. Estaba diciendo que un móvil es algo así como un arma. In a sense, yes, or a knife or whatever. It will grind the Muy DNA sencillo. to fragments. Pues yo tenía aquí unas fotos para enseñarle, que creo que es un momento. She's going to show you some pictures. Now yeah. is a moment. Alguien me hizo notar. Is this a friend of yours? <laughs> es un amigo suyo. Sí, es sí. my, my, my friend. <laughs> yeah. sí, es Alguien yeah. me hizo notar que el señor Obama... Uh, But no you see he has a no wired... Model. Yes. Quizá uh, Obama ha leído estos estudios. Yeah. Maybe Obama has read uh, your this document. This Could be, but I would say that they never use mobile phones because it's so easy to track and listen to. Y so the secret service doesn't allow that. Los servicios secretos no permiten teléfono. But at the same time, he has a good health situation. Pero al mismo tiempo, eso le hace que tenga una buena salud, o sea que una buena situación de salud. Sirve para todo esto. So it, it's but, good for everything. But we have sent information to the White House. Pero han enviado información Pero creo que a la Casa Blanca. ¿Conoce a este señor? Do you know him? No. 
No. Es el presidente de España. Okay. okay. Yeah. Él, I know who he no, is, no, but no I don't know him. No lo sabe. Uh, um, <laughs> sabe quién es, pero ah. no lo conoce. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. You asked <laughs> if I know him. I don't know him. Quizás no. él no, no, no se preocupa ni por su salud ni porque le espían. Entonces, Maybe he's not worried about his health or about if he's being tracked. Um, but I doubt that he used this for secret calls, you know. I think in his office he has a shielded wide phone en as well. En su yeah. oficina seguro yeah. que tiene un teléfono fijo. A lo mejor. Yeah. Uh, But maybe. it's interesting because it has been shown that the radiation from microwave sources like mobile phones, uh, they will uh, affect your short-term memory uh, and your concentration capacity. So if he doesn't use this, si no utiliza esto, maybe his decisions will be better. Sus de, tal vez sus decisiones serán mejores. And more intelligent. Más inteligentes. Si lo veo, se lo comunicaré. Sí, uh, she will say it <laughs> But he's probably a brilliant man. Pero seguramente que es un, una persona brillante. Seguro. Sure. Um, he leído también que hay algunos experimentos cruciales that there are some key experiments yeah. uh, que deberían hacerse pero que no se hacen. ¿Es correcto? Uh, it's correct? definitely it's correct. correct. Yes. Definitivamente. Okay. Yeah. ¿Por qué? Why? Um, I think scientists want to do them, but uh, scientists doesn't get the necessary funding. Falta dinero. So there's a lack of money. Yes, yeah. Sí. And not only money, but general sort of uh, know-how and technique and uh, no solo communication. Uh -huh. Pero quizás sería importante para la raza, para la supervivencia de la raza humana poder But, hacerlos. Uh, yes, and as you know, sí, uh, the sabes, European Parliament, for instance, el Parlamento Europeo, por have ejemplo, said that immediate action is needed. Ha dicho que se necesita una acción inmediata. And nothing happens. Y nada pasado. Talk, 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 but no action. Hablar, 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 pero nada de acción. Aquí en España se está hablando ahora mucho de unos nuevos contadores de la luz que nos están instalando. Okay. ¿Conoce usted la tecnología PLC? Yes. Sí. Yeah. ¿Nos puede hablar un poquito si es, uh, se conoce algo sobre si es uh, perjudicial o no para la salud? I suppose we talk about low energy light sources. Is that what you mean? Okay. Um, to begin with, they are radio frequent. Para empezar, son de radio frequent. Uh, mm -hmm. Somewhere between 70 to 120 kilohertz. And furthermore, in Sweden, además, uh, they have been sold to the customers saying that they will save a lot of energy and I have called the five largest energy suppliers in Sweden because my own electricity bill, the cost, is always increasing year after year and then I called them and said, hey, we have already introduced low energy light bulbs and my bill is still increasing And I said, when will I see the savings I will be doing with the reduction in cost? When will I see that? And they just laughed and said, you will never see that. So this is just a complete lie, of course. O sea, que es una mentira, es una completa mentira todo esto. Where is the savings? I cannot see that. ¿Dónde está el ahorro? No lo ve, no lo veo. And we have also done some very interesting studies on these light bulbs. When you buy such a light bulb in Sweden, it says that it will hold for more than 10,000 hours. And then we took these light bulbs and put them on a timer, 10 hours a day. And then we count the days. Contamos los días. And it was just on 10 hours and off every day. Se, se, la, se encendía durante 10 horas cada día. And then we discovered that the ones that lasted for the longest period was not even 3,000 hours. And then I got surprised. Me sorprendió. 
So I call the consumer organization in Sweden. Llamé a la organización de consumo en Suecia. And they said that no light bulbs will last for 10,000 hours. Y dijeron que ninguna bombilla duraría and más de And this is a big horas. problem, the lady said. And she said consumers must protest because Los... this is a big scam. Pero parece que usted es un, es un, es un, es un de los pocos consumidores que protesta. So you are one of the few uh, yes. consumers that protest. Yeah. Se usa mucho el teléfono. Sí. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. use a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, of course, for an ordinary family, Pero, por supuesto, uh, para una familia normal. they would see this uh, advertisement and they would buy low energy light bulbs. Este anuncio y comprarían las bombillas de bajo consumo. They will get home and they will use it and you know there are american scientists who have investigated this in a house you generally put on and off en light casa, bulbs normalmente enciendes y apagas una bombilla around 2 minutes durante 2 minutos uh, so it's very much on, off, on, off, sí. and then some of these low energy light bulbs only lasted for 50 hours, but they promised 10,000 hours or more. Pero han prometido 10,000 horas o más. And they are expensive. Y son muy caras. So therefore, these results are actually on the YouTube. You can see how these Americans have investigated hecho, this. Actuos, Caras y peligrosas, porque creo que tiene un campo magnético que también es perjudicial para la salud. Yes, yes. Quite dangerous for very the strong, you know, and they muy sometimes fuerte, contain sí. uh, chemicals that are very dangerous. Productos químicos que son muy peligrosos. El mercurio. Yeah, mercurio. for instance, yes. Yeah. And, por ejemplo, sí. But, you know, in essence, I often... When I think about things like this, I get the feeling that the consumers are completely fooled. And that makes me angry. Y eso me hace enfadar. ¿Usted utiliza estas bombillas en su casa? Uh, we do because in Sweden, uh, ordinary light bulbs are not allowed to be sold any longer. Ya no se permiten. No se permiten. No, no existen. Not allowed. They don't exist, no. And it will be the same in the European Union soon. Y lo mismo en la Unión so they are phased out. Pero and they are phased Yeah, okay. <laughs> you will have to use candles. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sí, podemos um, usar. El doctor Samuel yeah. Milhan, o Milan, yes, Sam Milan, ha publicado yeah. un libro que se llama Electricidad Sucia. ¿Nos puede explicar lo que es? Can you explain what is it about? Um, on the electric grid, uh, you have various forms of electromagnetic disturbances. And according to Sam Milham, uh, he ties them together with various diseases. And of course, some of his ideas are hypotheses. So more research is done, needed to be done, you know. So, um, me gustaría hablar de los uh, límites uh, de exposición a los campos electromagnéticos. Yeah. Los marcan... Las leyes. Well, to begin with, they are not decided by any laws. No, están decidi no se deciden por la ley. Uh, they are just recommendations. Solo son recomendaciones. Son recomendaciones. Yes. No son leyes. So if you go no over them, nothing happens. You are not put to jail or anything si like that. Si no los sigues, no pasa nada. No te pondrán en la cárcel. Yeah, and therefore I have said that we need real safety levels y es por eso que él ha dicho que necesitamos realmente niveles de seguridad que no puedas romper uh -huh. pero igualmente creo que son muy, muy, muy altos o sea o muy bajos no sé cuál sería la the safety levels uh, which I have said should be introduced uh, are the natural background levels o sea cero radiación Zero. N not zero, because in these frequency ranges there is a natural background from the outer space, actually. Uh -huh. Pero but, si but of no... course the reduction will be big, because Pero la sería the increase muy grande. the last years has been tremendously large. Porque el aumento durante esos últimos años ha sido inmenso. Uh, when I give public lectures, Cuando da uh, conferencias públicas, I ask the audiences how much more radiation they are affected by now compared to like 10 years ago. 
And then I just talk about the third generation mobile telephony, nothing else. And once a man was saying that, oh, it's a gigantic increase. It's a hundred times more. But the correct oh, answer is that the increase for public exposure the last 10 years for the 3G, the third generation mobile phone frequencies, is 1 million billion times. 10 up to the power of 15. Es de un trillón de veces. Lo que ha aumentado. The increase is... Uh, one million, one million, million times. Billion times. Además, creo que, que esta contaminación en el cuerpo humano es acumulativa, ¿no? Yeah. Um, acumulativa? American scientists, sí. if we go back to the DNA effects, have shown it's cumulative. Y hay que sumar los efectos de, todos, de todas las tecnologías. And we have to add to this the effects of all the technology. Of course, Por yes. ejemplo, yeah. en una casa, el móvil, el teléfono inalámbrico. For example, the mobile phone in a house. El wifi, wifi uh, los electrodomésticos, appliances, la red eléctrica, uh, los contadores web. de luz. ¿Alguien ha sumado? Right and TV and radio. TV and radio. Yeah. <laughs> so you are now polluting the world. Alguien, alguien, alguien ha sumado todo, todo, toda esta tecnología para has... saber a qué estamos expuestos realmente. Yeah. Just in general terms. En términos generales. Uh, if you look on the microwave range. Si vemos en la escala de microondas. Uh, then the increase is one million vemos... million. Million times. Vemos que el, el aumento es de un trillón de veces. Do, do you see? It's one and eighteen zeros yeah. one times 18. higher. Uh, so, I mean, you can just imagine if the small birds outside yeah. one morning would have increased their voice strength by this number. Then one bird this size would completely destroy the Barcelona to sand. The sound shock would just be unbelievable. El... And we wouldn't allow that. Y no lo permitiríamos. But we allow the microwaves to be increased in that range. And we believe that the evolution has given us a protection. Y creemos que la evolución nos ha dado una protección. Which it hasn't. Pero no es verdad. And I hope that it will turn out to be completely safe, but if not, Pero si no, not so fun. No será muy divertido. O sea que desearía estar equivocado. So you wish to be wrong. Of course, yeah, yeah. Por it's like, um, you know, I look upon myself as a mental fire brigade soldier. Uh, and, you know, the ordinary fire brigade, el, el no bombero normal, if it comes here, Si viene aquí, and if it's a false alarm, eh, una falsa alarma, then we are very happy, and they are too. Estamos muy contentos y ellos también. So I hope I'm wrong, and so I hope que, you will be happy then. Que estoy equivocado y que tú también estarás yeah. contenta. But if it turns out that we were right and Pero, we didn't say anything, and it was, as I said yesterday, that when I die, I want to feel that I did as good as I can, mm. not that I have could have done better. Para and, para dormir tranquilo. To sleep well. Yes, sí. it, it's the same with the ordinary fire brigade soldiers. Just imagine one of them coming home thinking, Imagínate oh, I could ellos, have saved that kid, but I didn't. Imagine one of them saying, I could have saved this child, but I didn't do it. Podría estar relacionado con, con, con esta sensación de estrés permanente en el que vivimos todos. Indeed, so uh, many people tanto. today live a very artificial life. Mucha gente hoy en día vive una vida artificial. Not in Spain, maybe, but uh, in no en Sweden, very artificial. Pero en Suecia, muy artificial. People are extremely stressed, you know. Si usted está en lo cierto. Sí. Si, if you are right, ¿se están tomando las medidas suficientes para que...? Uh, Not now, but no. uh, I hope they will. Pero espera que algún día. ¿Confía en que en el futuro estemos a tiempo? I hope so, yes. 
Espera que uh, sim. And um, mankind has often changed its behavior. If you would have interviewed me in 1955, we would all have been smoking now. Ah, yes. But today, ahora, it's very uncommon to see that in Sweden. No Extremely es uncommon. En Suecia, But ver eso. in the 50s, everyone was doing Pero it. 50, and it was regarded safe and sexy. Y se veía seguro y sexy. Yeah. So, and today, the contrary, you know. Uh, but at the same time, y ahora, lo when you watch the TV news, for instance, Opción, it's always about negative things. Siempre son sobre cosas negativas. You know, catastrophes, catastrophes wars, guerras, diseases, enfermedades, that kind of things. And very rarely about positive things. And when I have been here now for several days in Spain, y y ahora que he unos I have en España, only encountered very positive situations. He encontrado situaciones positivas. People are very friendly, very nice, very intelligent. La gente es muy amistosa, and they muy take care amable, of each other. Uh, muy inteligente. Se cuidan los unos a los But otros. But you never see that on the TV news. Pero nunca ves eso en las noticias de so you have to try to select your life. Entonces debes seleccionar un poco, elegir yeah. un poco en tu vida. And also, of course, ask yourself y, y también como tú misma. Do I need to have an electric toothbrush? Do I need to whip the cream electrically? And yeah. Do I need a mobile phone? Necesito el teléfono móvil. So you have to decide for yourself. La cuestión es si estaremos a tiempo. Um, um, when I talk with human beings, I always say, yes, we have. Sí, when I talk tiempo. with plants and animals, I always say, I hope we won't have time, because they will be saved then, ellos if seguro. we are gone. Si ya no aquí. But, you know, biology is not so selective. Pero la no es tan so if we disappear, si we will take with us a lot of other organisms, unfortunately. ¿Podría ser que mutásemos? Oh, yeah. En, en yeah. Una otra sí. yeah. Todavía peor. Yeah. In another worst species. Yeah, even worse one, you know. Yes, sí, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sí. So. Mejor desaparecer, entonces. Better to uh, disappear. Yeah, better to disappear. Mejor or desaparecer. start to behave like biological beings. In Sweden, I would love to start an institute of common sense. And you are warmly invited to be part of that, you know. Y tú estás invitada a participar en este we, we need brilliant brains. Yeah. Necesitamos cerebros brillantes. Muchas gracias. Um, Thank you very much. Vale. ¿Cuál sería el título okay. de la primera clase que daríamos? Oh, wow. That's oh. a good question. Buena pregunta. Um, 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 Oh, I don't know. Um, no, sé. uh, no one has ever used really common sense. We have to sit down and discuss this, Tendríamos you know. But, you know, for instance, when no, I no, no, no. watch Swedish television and I see yet a program with one of these big apes, the orangutans in Borneo, dying Muy because innocent. we need to have soap and shampoos and porque, makeup porque necesitamos tener maquillaje, jabones, then I get really angry I, must say, you know. I get Entonces so me, angry I don't want enfado. to see any more programs like that no ver más programas, eh, programas if we use common sense they will live if we don't they will die Creo que es un buen final. this is a good end oh thank you Gracias. Pero si but quiere decir algo más, le if you want to add something, no, no, it's just a great honor to be here. Thank you no so es much. Un gran honor yeah. estar aquí. Muchas gracias. Yeah, and uh, it has been wonderful to be here. Y ha sido yeah. maravilloso estar yeah, aquí. Yeah, indeed. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you.